Oh. Might be bigger than I thought. Officially in Quetico proper. I've paddled probably about 12 miles already today. Six and a half to Prairie Portage from Moose Lake entry point, and then another additional six um, into this area. So, officially in, in uh, Ontario, officially in Quetico, um, and I'll be in Quetico for the plan is the next 10 days. So, super excited. I've been wanting to do this trip for probably four or five years ever since I did my first solo in the Boundary Waters in 2019, then COVID hit. And I've just been waiting and waiting and waiting and planning. So this is a big trip for me and um, it's gonna be interesting. First portage of the trip definitely made it clear the difference between Quetico and Boundary Waters. It's just basically a moose trail. And uh, so far I'm in a fairly well used route. So it's early spring, so I'm sure it'll clear out a little bit, but. It's a little rough and steep, so anyway, it's gonna be an interesting trip. See a portage in there anywhere? This looks rough. Well, I'm seriously taking a piece of humble pie today. I'm back on the first portage that got me all the way into Quetico. Missed the second portage, thought I was on a different lake, couldn't find it, had to paddle all the way back, found the second portage, Went in about 50 feet and poof, just gone. I walked back there for probably 30 minutes. Almost got lost because luckily I have my GPS, but I mean, I can see how people get lost out here really easily. But uh, long story short, I'm back where I started and I didn't video much of it because I was working so hard trying to get through. So anyway, I'm getting uh, my butt kicked by Quetico. Well, that was about a two hour mistake. Taking the wrong portage and then getting dead ended. I'm on Emerald Lake now. I'm back on the right path, the path I was supposed to be on, uh, at least that I planned from home. But I learned a very important lesson. The portage doesn't look like it's been used by any humans, just moose. Definitely walk it through and check your map, check your GPS. Officially on the man chain. Hallelujah. That portage was crazy. It's straight up. Not that long, but just straight up with the canoe. The 10 days worth of stuff and food. I just got on the lake that I should have been on over two hours ago. Had that portage trail existed that was marked on the map. Now that two hours is looking like it's gonna cost me because I got major, major thunderstorms moving in on me right now. And I'm pretty, pretty much smooth sailing after this. So, it's gonna feel good to stretch my back out. It's been a challenging day, but man, wouldn't have it any other way. Love Quetico. Absolutely gorgeous. I made it to this man lake. I was shooting for other man lake, but 
At this point, it's five o'clock. It's beautiful out. I still like to enjoy the night. And um, if I can find a good campsite on this lake, I'm gonna call it good. I ain't gonna lie, I am really sore. I, didn't, I haven't checked how many miles I did today, but I'm estimating probably 25, maybe 30. I don't know, it was crazy, but um, good crazy. Honestly, my only hiccup was getting, uh, getting uh, stuck and that portage not being where it was supposed to be. Um, that cost me a lot of time, but um, besides that, man, the weather's been nice, a little, a little hot, but nice. Wind has been low, and I've just got an incredible campsite here on uh, the man chain. So I don't know. I'm a uh, I'm digging Quetico. I mean, these these lakes are gorgeous. I just saw walleye just sitting in the water, like in a foot of water, just chasing bait. Like you don't see that anywhere else. Like I don't know. It's <laughs> I'm trying to get motivated to get back in the canoe and go fishing because I want to really bad, but. I'm just also really worn out, so I'm kind of taking my time at it. So I'm gonna eat some dinner, see how I feel. Struggling a bit to get out of bed today. I just don't want to go into the barrage of mosquitoes right now. <laughs> Not gonna have any blood left by the time I get a get my uh, canoe and tent down. But gotta get up, get this day going. Back at it again on this man lake. Just left camp. Beautiful morning again, nice and calm. Got another really big day of paddling. And uh, yeah, feeling, feeling pretty good about it. Not in too much pain from yesterday, but um, pretty excited to push up, hopefully into the falls chain. Uh, water's supposed to be really high there right now, according to the Cache Bay Ranger Station, so I have to be really careful going through there. So, a little bit of uh, anxiety about going through that, never being through there before, but I've got good maps and I'm just going to take my time and make sure that I uh, am safe. I read that the man chain has some of the oldest rock on earth exposed along its shorelines called Greenstone. Really, uh, hoping I can identify some. I just want to see it. I assume it's green. But, uh, this is a nice chain of lakes, long and skinny, glacier carved. It's supposed to be great fishing, too. Got into a little last night, but haven't ran into any uh, trout or walleye yet, which would be quite a bonus. So. We can get into. Came off this man, pretty short and easy portage into Other Man Lake. 
This is my intended target yesterday. Didn't quite make it. And after paddling this man, that is a long lake. And I don't think I would have been able to make it all the way over here anyway. I would have, but it would have been hurting even worse. So I think I made the right decision stopping. So anyway, the last lake on the man chain. I'm gonna see if I can catch some fish out of it. And then we'll be moving on. Not bad. Chunk. The irony is that's probably just an average size fish here in Quetico. Heck, even in boundary waters, I feel like I catch giants like that all the time. They get bigger, hoping for about a six pounder. All right, a little jump over lake. Check out what I found on the trail. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but I think I found a, a bear claw. Pretty cool. Hopefully a good omen of a rest of a good trip. First creek travel of the trip. This leads into Fran Lake. So far the portages have been pretty pretty mellow today and easy to find. I love doing a little creek travel though. Never know if you might see uh, some moose or something. So I try to be quiet and roll through here. Got on to Saginagon's Lake. It's a pretty large lake. I'm gonna be skirting up the western side of it. Hopefully run into some nice fish. This is a good fishing lake. Like I said, really large. Good opportunity to catch a uh, trophy fish of the Grand, Grand Slam variety. So far I've got a bass and a lot of pike. Hoping to fill out that trout pretty soon. Before I get off trout water for a while. I feel pretty confident I can get a walleye once we get up in these falls. So, got the Grand Slam last year. Hate to not do it in Quetico. Cut across uh, Dead Man's Portage. No idea why they call it that. Hopefully, it's not a foreboding sign, but uh, it's not that long on the map. It saves me about five miles of paddling, so grateful for it. Shot through a gap between two islands and the current immediately showed itself. So I think I'm officially in the river proper. There's a lot of water. This is the, the Maline. There's a lot of water pushing through here. This is still a very wide part of the river, but it's gonna start tightening up real quick and getting real fast.
got some dinner.